so you can see the difference for yourself on my hair i was not liking what my hair was turning into hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to discuss about my hair the recent treatment which is the keratin treatment that i did on my hair how the experience was what should you keep in mind you are going for such a treatment or if you are considering any such treatment for your hair it has been my experience like i recommend this to you or not process where did i do it from all the details about my keratin treatment i am going to give it to you in this video for someone who wants to hear about this let's get started before i start please do hit the like button subscribe to my channel share this video comment below if any of this resonates with you if you have had a smile on your face watching any of my videos please 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 do engage with them this helps me grow it helps youtube know my videos are being liked push the videos across the algorithm you know how it works right please do your bit and i promise to do my bit too firstly let's talk about why did i choose to go with keratin treatment for my hair so i have been thinking of um, getting some treatment on my hair since a very long time now a little bit background let's go back a bit before i did any treatment on my hair in school or college 17 or 8 just home care traditional haircuts after i turned 18 or 19 started when i was about to start my first job I did I think um, a straightening, a permanent straightening on my hair. First treatment which I did on my hair. For that, my hair were very thick and long. I had a lot of volume in my hair. Once I did that permanent straightening, I did at a home salon run by a familiar person. In the initial few months were very good. My hair were frizz-free, straight, silky and all of that, which I did not have before. Earlier, I had thick hair. It was very rough, frizzy, a little baby. I did this treatment. I was like very impressed. After, I would say, a couple of months, I started noticing a lot of hair fall. It was also a time where my body was also changing. Go from teen to adult. There's a hormonal change in your body, acne and all of that comes across no exactly and I, I still don't know so i cannot pinpoint it was because of the treatment or it was because of something else because of my diet my stress increased because of the work i don't know for a couple of months your hair start going back to pre treatment days right permanent straightening you know does not last for more than a year your hair slowly starts going back to what it was before even worse sometimes here it did not go worse but it definitely started showing a lot of uh, hair fall dandruff issues i was not liking what my hair was turning into i don't i did not really pay that much attention to it i used to go for a couple of haircuts every six months then i went really short with my hair because i wanted to do something different experimented with a little bit of smoothening treatments good for some time then again the same thing repeats it's the same for every treatment so i wouldn't say that's something new i think last year when i went for coloring my hair there was a first time i colored my hair never colored my hair not even like uh, highlighting or anything nothing of that sort i don't remember the name what shade that was um i felt good for a while again the color started fading do yellow 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 when it starts to fade you have to go and do the retouching and all which i did not do so it became a problem again and for the last year i've just been you know busy with work and a lot of things nothing i think not even hair wash outside earlier i used to even go for hair washes but now when i went to ahmedabad thought i should just do something with my hair very very frizzy now hair color started to fade as i said so i had to do something with it right frizz was a main problem which i had to control i had to just tie my hair and was getting too much to manage also do a lot of untangling when i'm combing my hair why is that i had to control the frizz it became a little too long but i had to give you a background a background and now you know why i wanted to go for a treatment for my hair now we will discuss what was the process which was followed in the salon At the end i'm going to talk about where i went for this treatment how was this treatment would i recommend it to you and what was the post treatment care as in which were the products which have been recommended what else have i have to take care of after i've done this treatment yes let's get started with the process 
so once I walked into the salon, first thing was they asked me uh, to open my hair because I had tied it up in a bun, show the damage and just you know just look at it, just do a visual inspection. So one of their senior hairstylists came in. I would write down the name somewhere here in case you go to the same salon, which you would know towards the end which salon is this. You can go and request for the same hairstylist if you are impressed by my experience. And then he asked me which treatment are you planning to go for and then i told him i am looking for keratin hair treatment for my hair i was pretty much specific and straight there not you know um considering other options and a lot of research before I asked him if it's okay because of course uh, they are the most experienced people in this field and i have to and i should take their advice do not just go like this consider other options doing what i want at the end but considering from the best in the field they asked me why did you uh, why did you think of keratin only I told them the main issue that i have is frizz as you can see back then as they could see they were like yes that is a problem i told them i have done a lot of research and i know this treatment is going to cure at least temporarily frizz in my hair yes uh, you, you make sense and this is what i would suggest too or this is this is a good idea to go with okay let's do this we were like on next thing was i think it was around 6 pm already when i had gone for uh, this treatment I asked them previously like a couple of hours earlier it would be done in two to three hours because the closing time was 9 pm gone for a match earlier you would have seen my narendra modi stadium vlog if you haven't in the description box below so i went to the match and then i came back and this ho this salon was very close to my hotel next day i had to leave for home I just had like that day and the next morning if it is possible in the next two to three hours that that nothing like like yes we can do this in three hours it does not take longer than that I'm like okay fine so we started this process at 6 pm in the evening first thing was washing and cleansing my hair I traveled and came there and each time the bath i did not wash my hair greasy with sweat and the, you know and the dirt and all of that so the stylist did that in the salon itself they double washed it i mean they did it twice the reason was my hair were very greasy and very oily and very frizzy so they had to do it twice like the same hair wash two times so one hair wash if you say would take around five ten minutes it took around 20 25 minutes just for the hair wash to be done so that my hair is clean properly and then the treatment is applied step was pre-treatment care solution on my hair this is not always required for me because i had colored my hair before have color on your hair you need to save that color first and apply the keratin treatment uh, formula on your hair because if you just apply it directly it would damage the already present coloring on your hair and after they've done that that is when they'll go and start with keratin with 10 to 15 minutes for it to settle down it was settled down then the keratin solution was applied on my hair what is done is they have that solution prepared each hair strand everything has to be done very properly because even if one thing is left hair uh, strand would be frizzy and curly and everything else would be, would be straight and you would look like <laughs> okay so a lot of care and each hair stand has to be you know applied the formula on properly they also have some wrapping foil or in which they wrap your hair strands if it's required it to sit like that until it dries down and it takes around an hour or so i would say around 45 minutes to an hour for it to dry properly and once it is dried the next step is to wash your hair yes but right now what you do is you do not wash your hair completely like the salon uh, stylist will not wash your hair completely because the solution which has been applied has to stay into your hair at least for a day like overnight so if you have applied it at say, 7 pm and at least until the next morning or the next afternoon it has to stay in your hair so that the entire treatment is absorbed properly they'll just wash it you know just, just do a little bit of washing and that's it not much once that is done let it dry you comb your hair and let it dry and once it's dried then the flat iron is used it's basically straightening your hair each hair is now straightened because now the mask is set in and now when you straighten your hair it tells the mask basically that this is how we want the hair to be it takes again around an hour more yeah because you have to do it with each hair strand right and once it's all straightened that is that's all that's all for day one um, your process for the first day is complete 
and then you will be asked not to tie your hair because you have treatment into your hair and you have straightened it if you tie it now it will stay like that for the next six months okay so you don't have to tie your hair you don't you have to make sure that you do not let your hair get wet because again that would kill the solution and the mask that has been applied and the entire goal is vandalized so you do not let it get wet you do not tie it you just have to keep it straight right so for that one night it will be a little uncomfortable but then the next morning once the entire treatment is done you will feel better so the next treat next treatment is not completely required because you can do it at home also but in case you are there in the same place i would rec recommend you to go back to the salon they'll usually ask you to come back for a wash the next day and then they'll set your hair up and the final treatment will be done if you cannot do it they'll ask you to wash it at home but then you have to take a lot of care right so in case you can go then please do go because it's no use leaving things halfway you know when you've chosen to go for a solution like this go and do it all in so next morning because i had the next morning with me there i went to uh, what they did was firstly they again flat ironed my hair because there's a little bit of you know curls that happens you might have slept on the wrong way usually use a flat iron again and again uh, straighten your hair and once that is done they'll wash your hair now now the entire mask that entire keratin mask which was used in your hair is now properly washed with the shampoo with the conditioner um, and with all the you know integrities involved in it the entire mask is now taken off and your hair is properly given a wash okay and then once this wash is complete you will have a blow dry okay and then once the blow dry is done you would see the newly treated hair which is have okay so that is how it's going to look like i had an, another step over here which was getting my hair recolored because um, my, as i told you it was like too yellow so i had to get it recolored so that it does not look flashy right and they applied the color again on my hair and i had to sit for some time get it washed again because there was a new hair color and once that was done again there was a blow dry and the serum was applied and final set done okay it's like a lot of processes and yes there is a long process to it ideally the first day it took around three to three and a half hours i went at 6 pm and by 9 30 pm i was done and the next day uh, it usually takes around half an hour to one hour because you just have one flat ironing session and then they wash your hair and you're done but because i had a coloring also to be done uh, on my hair it took around an hour extra so i'd say next day it again took me around two to two and a half hours so this was the entire process that was followed with the precautions in between of not tying and getting my hair wet now this is how the final result was as you can see, it was, as you can see. If you would have seen my other videos previously you would have known how frizzy my hair were and now you are seeing this difference right you can see the difference for yourself on my hair i had come a little closer to help you see the difference see now you would see the difference now right okay so this is how my hair now looks like so first impressions the first impression i had my about my hair was <sighs> this looks good good decision so firstly when i touch my hair it feels soft it feels supple and the main agenda i had you now know you know you know this by now it was to control the frizz right and you can see the frizz is gone i do not have any frizz on my hair so the main agenda is accomplished which means the task is accomplished right so uh, and my hair i did not cut my hair so the length is the same it might feel a little longer because it has been straightened now uh, my hair is straight it's smooth it's silky yeah and it's frizz free so i can keep it open um, and i'm pretty much satisfied with what i've experienced 
the process was quick um, it did not take a long time it, and you know it, it wasn't like I did not feel bored or anything like that it just went on quite quick the service was good uh, and I liked it I would say you know I'm pretty impressed with what I experienced and this uh, judgment of mine to go with this solution in this particular place okay now I'll tell you what the post treatment care is and what are the products that have been recommended to be used at home when I wash my hair henceforth so once the treatment is done they will ask you they'll recommend you a couple of products the, a new shampoo a new conditioner a new serum because now your hair have been treated differently and every salon has their own set of products that they would want you to now replace your original products with so yes it's your choice whether you want it or not but I decided to go with it because because it was recommended so I got this Floractive professional shampoo and conditioner um, which was recommended and this is the pro this is a bottle basically these are the two bottles this is a shampoo this is a shampoo and this is the conditioner which you will be asked to not this one you can be asked something else also but this is what I was asked to purchase from the salon itself they'll give it to you so the shampoo is for 1600 and the conditioner comes for uh, uh, this comes for 1600 too so in total it would be around 3200 rupees for these two products and it's 300 ml both of them and uh, it has active amazon plus coconut oil and the conditioner also is a leave-in mask so in, in case you don't want to wash it off you can just leave it in so overall and the smell is really good i washed my hair just today it's been two weeks since i've done my treatment and the hair stays the same and this, this smells really good it's really good to apply on and you know i just really liked it so a good purchase so this is the post treatment products that you have to use every time you wash your hair at home and then there's a moroccan oil which you'll have to use as a serum because now you cannot apply any other oil on your hair otherwise the treatment will wash off so this is the moroccan oil that is recommended and uh, this one is for all hair types it's alcohol free and it was i think this small bottle it's 25 ml for uh, around 1000 1500 rupees they also have a bigger one in case you want that it was for 3000 i think so you just need it for a couple of drops after you have done your hair and it's just semi dry you put in this uh, on your hair and that's it and it's set okay so overall the products are good i would say around 4000 5000 rupees extra for these products mm, you can get it from the same salon or you can buy it later from amazon or however you want to go for it and every time you wash your hair you have to be very gentle with it now that your hair has been treated you cannot be like very rough you have to be gentle gently massage your hair and cleanse it um, that is something you the salon people are going to tell you also but i'm just reiterating it okay so that's it and you can wash your hair every week or every you know however you want to do it but the more you wash your hair the higher chances of it of the treatment washing off sooner so i usually wash my hair once a week i've been doing the same earlier also and you do not have to oil your hair now only use moroccan oil if you want to and only the products which have been recommended okay apart from that now you can tie your hair you can do whatever you want to do it just stays the same the treatment doesn't wear off which is like really good right so i really loved it this this was the post treatment care now let's talk about where did i get this done from so i went to mint salon in Ahmedabad's Prahlad Nagar area which was very close to my hotel Holiday Inn Express and I just chose it because it was closer and was just walking by and I liked the vibe blue and all of that I just went in and yes I really liked the process and I have already told you how impressed I am with the service it was quick it was efficient and pretty good the, co the cost I think it was around 10,000, somewhere around 10,000, including the hair color and everything. And these products extra, so total around 14,000 for 
everything good one so yes i really liked the process i really liked the salon i'm pretty much impressed with it all i had in this video now let's conclude by saying i loved it and i would definitely recommend it to you and i hope you like this video if you did you know what to do if you like this video then please do hit the like button subscribe comment i'll see you in my next video till then